what we want to do, we want to change the value to of it. So I'm going to go to the text of it. If you you call, what we did, we said when we want to reference or we want to access the text, the actual value inside that field, we put dot text. And now this time, I'm going to put one single equals. Why? Because I'm actually assigning a value into it. And what am I going to assign a value? I'm going to say file added. And maybe to make it more attractive, we might like to actually change the color so it would actually, you know, appear attractive, maybe like a green color. So we're going to call the file status label again. There you go, it's, it's giving us a hint. And this time I put a dot. And if you, if you actually look, you've got different options here. You've got, um, let's see, four color. Yeah, four color. I can select that, and if I put equals, then I have to type the word color, and that's an American spelling, and I put a dot, and I've got different colors here that I can choose from. Now what I want is I want a dark green color. Um, have I got dark green? I've got dark green. Either I can type it or I can look for it in the list, and that's it. And if I put a semicolon, every time we end the statement, we put a semicolon. Don't forget that because I do. I forget it all the time. So that's just one. So we've done that condition, and we know that you know something's been entered. So we want to say a file added. That's just a simple way of dealing with this problem. Um, there's better ways, but this is just, like I said, one solution to it. Um, if it's not true, then we want to deal with that as well, which is else. So if and else and that's just basically assuming the opposite to this that it is actually empty so we want to deal with that pro uh, problem by writing maybe you did not add a file or something like that right so the way to do that again we put file status label dot text and this time we're going to change the value of the the text to something like you did not add a file for example right and semicolon the end next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refer to the file again like we did before we changed color so we might as well change the color again um, and this time when we change the color we can we, we can choose a color that maybe is like danger like red so let's do that so red okay I've done that so basically now if we add a value in the field it should say file added and if we don't add anything we we'll just click on the button it should turn red um, so I think what we need to do now is really test this functionality so we want to test that we want to run the application click add and see what happens so let's do that now okay as you can see here we've got the application running and uh, that's my desktop uh, you probably recognize it um, and what we want to do now is we want to do the first test which is like a blank form a blank field sorry and we click on add file and we watch what happens here add file and it says here you did not add a file it's got the explanation mark uh, maybe I should just get rid of that because it doesn't actually look very clear it looks like a bit like an L um, but now let's just uh, write something like maybe file dot text so that's Assuming this is like a valid file, um, we're not doing any checks just yet. We're just checking if there is a value entered in this field. And if we click on Add File this time, it says File Add. So it it, it did recognize there is something, there is a content in there. So it isn't a, a, an empty text box. So we've done that. If we clear all, it doesn't clear that part. It would clear what's in here. Uh, view file doesn't do anything, results doesn't do anything just yet and finally we've got exit so we we'll click on exit and it closes the application and brings us back into Visual Studio up notch a bit the challenge and we're gonna start really coding things but before we do that um, I'm gonna take you into something really quickly so let's view Solution Explorer I'll, I'll take you you can see that there's some files that's actually being created for us so if we just click on program let's see it opened it in this side we don't want it to open this side we want it to open in this side here there we go so yeah, it looks much neater easier to to navigate so I prefer to have it this way 